Hey guys, Shapoo's Animation here, back again with a new video for you guys, and this time we're going to be looking at a brand new figure from the Transformers Last Night Premier Edition toy line. This is the new Voyager Class Optimus Prime based on the Western Star design. This is something I think we've all been looking forward to, and um, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, I can show the box here, mainly because I just want to show off this really cool box art of Optimus Prime with all that detail that's sadly missing from this guy, but hopefully mine I can get to look something like this, with something what I'm aiming towards. Uh, again, really nice uh, artwork on the box, on the side of the box as well. Really cool stuff. So, uh, and Grimlock's always also available, but uh, we already covered him uh, about three years ago, so... No Grimlock. I won't be getting the new Grimlock, because I already have the new Grimlock. So, new Western Star Optimus Prime. Lots of molded detail into it, which is very cool. Um, a couple Western Star logos. Oop. Oop, come on camera. There we go. A couple Western Star logos on the sides of the truck, um, top and the bottom. A couple grills here and there. There's a nice Autobot logo that's on this one. On this side, and on this side as well. He's got exhaust, I think that was down here. Uh, so there's exhaust down there. Western Star. That uh, same um, tail light was on the Peterbilt version of the truck. So I guess that's an Optimus Prime thing. Uh, Autobot logo on the front. And flames throughout. Which is Optimus Prime's thing. And another nice feature that I... Th love that they added in is there are Autobot uh, emblems on all of the hubcaps, which is a nice touch. So it's not just on the front, it's not just on the back, the Autobot emblem is on all of the hubcaps, which is pretty cool. His weapons do store on them, but I don't really like putting them on there, so I'm not going to. Uh, but the sword pretty much stores underneath, and the shield goes on the back where the trailer hitch goes. So yeah. Pretty nice truck. Uh, for comparison, we're going to bring in his not-so-good buddy Galvatron, and I think this is pretty good scale um, between the two of them. Yeah, that's about the right size. They're pretty much the same size in uh, robot mode, robot moods, so uh, there's that. And another Age of Extinction figure is Hound, just to see what they look like together. I feel like the scale is pretty okay, uh, being how big these trucks actually are. The Hound truck could be a bit bigger, maybe, maybe a bit wider, but uh, I'm not complaining. It's fine. Now, originally I was going to do this review live, just to uh, see if I can get the transformation uh, right off the bat. I couldn't do it, um, and I got lost, and my phone started acting up with storage, so I scrapped the video and I did it over again, so this is about the third time I'm recording this uh, review. So hopefully this is the one that you guys will see. So, to transform this guy, the transformation is very, very fun and unpredictable, uh, I would say, would be my reaction the first time transforming this guy. Uh, did not expect certain parts to go where they actually go, and uh, it's, it's very fun. Um, the parts break up nicely, I think. Uh, all the way around, the legs come all the way around here, and uh, they fold up, they separate, they're connected by this trailer hitch, which uh, is probably the weakest part of the vehicle mode, is just that the trailer hitch part is just this layer of plastic that just sits there. Uh, not the best thing, but it's not the worst either. We'll tap the foot here, rotate. I also kind of wish it was an ankle tilt, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers unless you work for Hasbro. Let's uh, get that in frame, rotate. But I do really like uh, the way this figure turned out and how they, Hasbro is still trying to figure out how to get an accurate Western Star Optimus Prime, and I think so far that they're succeeding. They are trying, they are trying to uh, get it right. So, and, you know, they can. They have to do what they can because uh, there aren't many 
huge vehicle parts on these uh, transformers now in the new designs, which I'm not complaining because I really like the designs. But uh, in order for them to get that kind of quality, you need like a masterpiece Optimus Prime or something. I don't know. Flexus Pex. That flies off a lot. But don't worry, it's not broken. Just pop it back on. Oh, I guess it's on the wrong way. Is it on the wrong way? Let's see. Let's go take this one around. Yeah, it's on the wrong way. Like that. And rotate it around. Just like that. Fold the hood pieces up. Straighten the legs out. Really glad he has waist articulation, just like the Dark of the Moon Voyager. Pull this up. Let's uh, collapse the backpack. And fold this down. Just like that. Come on. There we go. And, uh, yeah. There we have Western Star Age of Extinction slash the Transformers The Last Night Optimus Prime in his brand new robot mode. And, uh, I really do dig this. This is a very cool design. It's a lot of molded detail in here. Uh, that uh, some of it is cast in silver plastic, some of it is not. I'm not complaining because I can, you know, I can fix that. But um, as far as detail goes, as you can see, his chest is stocked full of it. There is a lot of detail. Pretty much. Come on, camera. The detail is pretty much everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's detail, there's detail here in his chest, in his arms, his legs, all the way down to uh, pretty much his feet. Uh, so a nice cast of silver plastic and gunmetal will uh, pick it out quite nicely, especially in his face. His face needs a lot of help because there's too much blue and there's not enough. Uh, as you can see here on the box art, I'll just pull the box up like here and we can look at his faces together. You can see in the box art, he has a lot of silver here on the head, here on the sides of the face, and here it does not have that. It helps to break up uh, break up some of that blue and just makes it look more interesting as a robot. But for what they have here, I am impressed. I really do like this figure. It's grown on me a lot in the couple of hours I've had him today, but uh, he's really cool. His weapons are cool too. Uh, there's a lot of nice molding on them, just need to be painted properly. Um, a lot of nice molding here on the sides, here in the middle where the blaster is. I'm surprised there are no blaster uh, gun barrels on the front, like there was on the leader what on the leader's uh, the leader class shield from Age of Extinction. But you know, whatever. Uh, his sword is pretty cool too. Uh, just painted in orange, as his sword glue orange in Age of Extinction when he was fighting with Grimlock, but. Uh, you know, it's whatever. Let's get this guy backed up just a smidge. Get the camera up. Okay, there we go. Focus. Okay. Set him to the side. For my comparison, I'm going to bring in my first Optimus Prime, my Voyager Optimus Prime from Dark of the Moon. Pretty much my definitive version of Optimus Prime. Now I may upgrade him to this once I get him painted. I may depend on what he looks like, but uh, you know you may be seeing more of this guy in the future, especially with uh, old Galvi here. Hint, hint, wink, wink, hint, hint, wink, wink. So uh, yeah, overall he's pretty cool. Uh, stay tuned for the custom. Uh, I'm going to have that up soon because all I have to do is paint stuff. It's not like Barricade. Barricade, I am doing a heavy retool because there's a lot of stuff missing. Not to mainly his robot mode, just trying to fix up his vehicle mode. Uh, the back uh, bumper of the car is wrong. He needs a spoiler. Uh, some added details like fog lights and a new paint scheme is what I'm working on for Barricade. Berserker, um, I haven't even looked at Berserker yet. Uh, I, know, I know I'm trying to make him look like a dread, but I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with him. So, if you like this review, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the custom. I will have try to have that up, if not by the end of this week, then by next week. So, 
stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, this has been Jake with Animations. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.